What is happening, y'all? Welcome, I'm back. So, after the last episode, uh, we now have access to stuff we need right here. Um, obviously, the, the main thing that we are missing still, of course, is I need to get more aluminum. Five aluminum total. So, uh, the drill has exactly enough, which is good. I do not have the grabber anymore, but we just need to go find some aluminum. So, we're going to head on out and uh, for the best. So before I had aluminum over here, which actually that looks like the, wasn't that the spot I got it from? No, that's a water spot. It's an ice, right? Ice supply. Exhausted supply. I'm wondering if these are, that's alkaline. Like, can I find them on undersides? I feel like I can't find it on undersides. Like, cause it's weird that I'm seeing nothing on the backsides of these asteroids. And that makes me think that they may be predefined spawns and not random like they are in Subnautica. I mean, like, there's nothing at all on the back of these asteroids. Not even, you know, there's no ice, there's no alkaline, there's no, we're not seeing anything. Which doesn't make any sense. We're gonna check this asteroid next after I get more more air. I like how technically I'm not even like in the ship. I mean I guess the the hatch is closed, but I'm floating around, so you would think it's not stabilized, which would make me think there's no oxygen, but... Alright, so that's... Uh, oh, no, hang on. This is actually what we need. One, one, two, three. Okay. Need two more. I think these are both ice, but I want to get a little bit closer to check. Definitely ice. Definitely ice. What are these? These bubbles. Can I do anything with these? Can I interact with them? It looks like there's stuff inside. I guess it's just a reflection. That's ice. Ice. Right up top. Come on. I haven't checked like down low. I'll do that next. I literally I need two aluminum. Two aluminum. I can make the suit. I need water too. So I'll do that again. That is. I think that's some right there. It looks like it. Oh wait, this is a double. I think. Yes, it is. Wow. Literally right under my nose the whole time. level against radiation is still insufficient for the flight to the evac point. You still need to improve the equipment or click exit game in the menu of your spacesuit, which will solve all your problems. Oh. Due to the high toxicity level of the renewed painting of the spacesuit, the probability of your death from radiation is now lower than the probability of death from the suit itself. In this regard, you can fly to the evacuation okay. point. Okay. Okay. There we go. I don't have these two, but that's okay. 
Um, I need a grill. <laughs> I need a drill. A drill and a grabber. Um, equipment tools. Refined metal. Oh, I need aluminum. Bitch. Refined metal and thick electrical tape. I can get another drill. We have tape. No, we don't. Pull that out. Make some tape and pull out the metal. Oh, resources. Like this. There's a lot of like weird, just like unnecessary slowness, I feel. Like just sitting here and watching this stuff get created. Yeah. Like Subnautica, it's, it's pretty fast. I feel like you can at least pin pin recipes up in Subnautica, or it doesn't look like you can do that here. I don't know. I mean, I guess on, on one hand it is kind of biased to do it, but at the same time I feel like I, I, I've played so many survival games at this point where I have standards in my head already of what they should do. Um, when it comes to like a single player open survival, Subnautica is my standard. I feel like the comparisons are only exacerbated by the fact that we just finished playing uh, Below Zero and did like everything and had a blast with it. Now I'm into this and I'm like, huh. Like, you're not bad, but it's not quite as good as you could be. We also haven't even gotten to the base building part yet, which. I mean, the, the previews show base building, but starting to be like, was this like, when does this happen? Because I would like to, you know, I would like to start build. I want to build bases and uh, I can't build bases. I'll tell you right now, this series is not going to go long. Um, I think I'm screwed. I need alkaline to make batteries. Right? I'm missing a battery. Which I need alkaline, which I need a grabber to get. So now my only choice is going to be find a crate and break it open and hope for the best. Nice. Um. There were crates over here. Actually not seeing any crates which is you know what screw it I bet we can let's let's just go for the the point like, there's no way I can make it I can't I can't do that I can't oh, I can't there's no I, I'd have to I'd, at the very least I'd have to have more oxygen things Projects, equipment, tools, items. That also needs batteries. Shit. I'm caught in a in a a loop. A bullshit loop. Or I'm not gonna be able I need to find I need to find battery to create grabbers. But without the grabber, I can't get alkali to create the battery. Without the battery, I can't make more of an oxygen thing, which means I can't progress, which sucks ass because I'm finally at a spot where I have my suit and everything is, uh, it looked like everything was starting to really get going here. I'm like, Hey, I got a suit. I can do all kinds of stuff. Nope. Just kidding. Screw you. No batteries. 
Oh my god. There's one hiding. Please. Please have a battery inside. Rubber, rubber. Scissors. Rubber. More rubber is good. I need more rubber though. I need batteries. Let me make sure. Maybe I had some alkali stored. Maybe. Oh my god, I did. I'm stupid as fuck. I'm pretty sure I picked that up like last episode. Oh man. Alright. I... Uh, let's get some metal and then we'll make. I'm gonna make a backup grabber as well just so my dumbass doesn't run into this problem again. Bust you open. Okay, equipment, items, oh, composite resources, battery. I'm just going to create a couple of these. Pretty much just this, I'll make four right now and I'll store most of them. Um, I'll make one oxygen thing. Or do I want one use oxygens? No, I should make a whole thing, that way I can completely refill. Equipment, grabby grabby. Candle. And then another candle. And then a station. So I got one candle, one station. Air grabbers. We are good to go. Damn. I don't have water. Make some water real fast. Getting thirsty. our way all the way over there to the evacuation point. I want to say that's... I think that's the end of, uh, of chapter one when you get there. Because I know we went we went through and we did... Um, I want to say we got through chapter one two years ago, back when it was early access. And I think... I want to say you get over there and... You're like getting, I'm trying to remember. I want to say you get ready to evacuate, but instead it's like part of the ship just takes off without you and you're just left kind of stranded and it ends or something like that. But we will, uh, we'll get over there and find out. I just want to get to the, the base building because we haven't been able to do any base building yet. And it's kind of like, well, I would like to do some, please. game has to shout at you to get oxygen. The harder part, honestly, is going to be getting over there. I'm going to have to bunny hop um, from, from oxygen to oxygen, obviously, but that's still a thousand meters. I could get it going 500 oxygen station 500, but I'm gonna need to to keep an eye out for more uh, heating elements because my guy is getting very very frosty.
I want to say, I don't think the oxygen stations were... I don't think the oxygen stations were even a thing back when I played. I want to say I, uh... I think I just used candles to all ass. I don't see heat elements anywhere. The presence of such an amount of cooling gel is strange. Such a composition was outdated more than 10 years ago and is not produced on any planet. I really wish I could go faster than 6 meters per second. <laughs> this is, uh, it, it's very slowly killing me inside to just be creeping along this slow. And I can't really, I'm get, it's getting worse. I'm not able to see almost anything yet. The captain's bridge is detected ahead. The evacuation should be led from there, but there are no signals or movement detected in this area. Probably everyone died. I mean, all I can do is just push forward. I can still kind of see it. We're gonna have to pop our thing in a second. And I could deploy the oxygen thing here. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think this is it. I think I see the bridge. Oh god, thank god. Okay. That, that was almost... I was almost dead. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh man, thank god I thawed out. That would have sucked. And that, yeah, exactly, 500 meters. So I was right on track here. With such an accent, the incorrect localization sounds extremely convincing. The information on the captain's bridge is classified in the database, therefore it is recommended to ignore this valuable advice and act according to the situation. Uh, I don't have a choice. We gotta make it. We gotta risk, risk it for the biscuit. I got my suit. The captain's bridge was badly damaged, but the main systems are still functioning properly. Oh, it has oxygen in here. Nice. Which makes no sense because that's a vacuum, but we drill. The door is locked. If you manage to get inside, there is a chance to send a distress signal to the nearest planet, or at least kick the course with the captain who allowed this to happen. Need a key. I have the key. Oh my god, how do I stop? Oh, hang on, I gotta see controls here. There's gotta be a, like, just stop movement. Stop all movement. Stabilization, left alt, that's what I need.
by There we go. Yeah, this thing, it, it takes off leaving you with just the steering wheel, if I remember correctly. Seems it will be a long day. While choosing the most painless suicide methods for you, a slight decrease of the background radiation was noticed. Surprisingly, your attempt to break the liner could lead to positive results. I could find out the nature of this phenomenon, but for that, I would need to disclose some confidential information of the Breath Edge Company, which contradicts the security protocol, so not a single spacesuit AI will disclose this information to you. On the other hand, this information is extremely necessary for us. There are a lot of stupid spacesuits with dead carriers floating around, so nobody will even know if you resort to the good old torture method, like the drill. So what am I supposed to do? Get the information with a drill? Where's the information supposed to be? Get the information with a drill. I mean, I have the drills. But I'm supposed to drill... It made it sound like I'm supposed to drill into... a suit. Like I'm supposed to find somebody and drill them? here. It's empty. <laughs> I'll be honest, if this doesn't pick up, I think I might just look for something else to play. Like, so far, this just, uh, I don't know. You see, it's always, it's hard to tell when I'm recording, because I'm, I'm trying to get, like, a couple episodes prepped up in advance. Um, like, right now, I just, I feel like this game's just not very entertaining. Like, we're just floating around in space, there's no, I don't know, even if it's described as, as Subnautica in space, I mean, it's missing, it's missing the terror of Subnautica, you know, not knowing what made that noise behind you, not knowing what's swimming up on you exploring all over whereas this just feels like I'm going from like wreck to wreck looking for things it doesn't I don't know it doesn't have the same vibe and I still don't know what the hell it wants me to do with the drill like a journal entry or something get the information with a drill Stupid spacesuits with dead carriers floating around, so nobody will even know if you resort to the good old torture method like the drill. Guess I'm gonna go fly, fly over to this thing, I don't know. Or there's that, or there's that. Like, that's, that's the thing, like, you know, even right now, I'm like, okay, well, I have A, B, or C, that's where I can go. You know, it doesn't feel, it doesn't have the same exploration feel that Subnautica or Green Hell had because I was wandering around In order just to find looking out for stuff. Radiation, you need to calculate the coordinates of the place where the captain's bridge crashed into the liner. Breath Edge Agency Coffins can help us with this. However, we still need to find an engineering shuttle, or even better, the engineer himself. What's this? Titanium an ball. Shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hands? No, no! I will tell you everything! I swear! Ah, don't do that! What was that? I offered for you to torture other spacesuits! It's a logical thing to do! Well, I won't utter another word. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let bygones be bygones. I suppose you don't think that a program could you probably need some explanations which you cannot get because the corresponding dialogues are absent in the game. Therefore, you won't Please get it. Please tell any. me you have oxygen. Oh. I won't say any more as I can't find the steering protocol. No, seriously. 
Seriously, I really can't say anything more. Okay, that's dangerous. Don't do that. We're complete idiots. Oh my god, I actually died. Okay. Are you awake? I was forced to give you an electric shock as you almost ruined the spacesuit. I kindly ask you not to play with the drill anymore, please. Well, maybe I can actually use the drill now. Looks like he was shaving with a chainsaw during the crash. I can find no other explanation for such damage to a spacesuit. We need one that's in good condition, or at least other parts of this one. I'd recommend exploring the area. Shit ton of stuff here. A processor and a ton of materials. Damn. Exactly full. Um, that. That. I need a stash. Need a, oh, hell yes. Um... I get rid of this. I don't think it's actually used for anything. It's it's a space dick. Oh wait, hang on, that's right, there was shit I was trying to drill before the game started being like, nah, just drill yourself. Electronics. Yeah, who knows how many of these we're gonna need, so. It's also just the like the music in this game just kind of puts you to sleep. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Oh, it has it all marked. All right. Well, let's let's head on back. We will. Go around and, and hit the space debris um, and just see what we can find. Honestly, I think I might wait to wait until the first couple of these episodes go live to kind of see what people are saying. Because right now, I mean, it just it feels like even with an objective, this just feels very it's like very aimless, I guess. So anyway, y'all let me know. We'll figure it out. There's always you know something else I can play. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.